numbers and alphabets. Children, how was your Dipavali? Ma'am, we, we had, had a lot, lot of fun, fun during, during Dipavali. Dipavali. Children, come on. Today, I will teach all of you a fun game. Fun, fun game? game? Yes, Winnie, come here. I will clap for some time. And you have to listen to my claps carefully. Then you have to count the numbers of the claps and write it on board. Okay, ma'am. How many times did I clap? I heard one clap first, then two claps and this continued one, two, one, two. Well done. Binny, now you come forward and count my claps. Okay, ma'am. How many times did I clap? At first, you clapped once, then three, then you continued one, three, one, three. Well done, Binny Winnie. Now, can you tell me what is the special about these numbers? Hmm. Here, the first line, the number one, and two are repeated again and again. And in the second line, number one and number three are repeated. Oh yes, this has become a pattern of numbers. Rightly said, Winnie. Children, now look carefully at what I write on the board. Tell me what I have written. You have written the English alphabets A. N, B and repeated them again and again. Oh yes, this is a pattern of alphabets. Well done, Binny. Yes, so friends, today in this video, we will place the numbers and alphabets in specific order and we'll learn to make patterns by repeating them again and again in the same order. Winnie, can you see a pattern in these numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These numbers are written in ascending order. So tell me, which number comes after 9? 10 comes after 9. No, Winnie. Look carefully. These numbers are written in a pattern. By adding 1 and 2, you get 3. And this is how the pattern builds up. Yes, 2 added to 3 gives 5. 2 added to 5 gives 7. 2 added to 7 gives 9. And 2 added to 9 result is 11. Yes, therefore 11 comes after 9 in this pattern. Well done. So children, number pattern is created by repeatedly adding a specific number to given numbers. Ma'am, we want to know more about patterns. Okay. So come on, can you identify this pattern? A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E. Hmm. Here each term is of two alphabets. The second alphabet of the first term becomes the first alphabet of the second term. And the pattern is getting built further. Very good, Winnie. Now solve this puzzle made of alphabet pattern. This pattern is made of English alphabets A, B, C, D. And yes. Each term of this pattern has three alphabets. So, here following A, B, C and D, E, F, the next term will be G, H, I. 
because it is followed by J K L. Well done, Binny. Children, remember that a pattern is made by repeatedly writing numbers or alphabets in a specific order. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Friends, today you learned to make patterns by placing numbers and alphabets in specific order in this video. In the next video, we will learn more about patterns made of numbers and alphabets with the help of some interesting examples. Friends, in the last video, you learned to make patterns by placing numbers and letters in a specific order. In this video, we will look at some interesting examples related to patterns made with numbers and letters. Vinny, you have learned to make patterns with numbers and letters, haven't you? Yes, I have. Come on, let's create some puzzles using patterns made of numbers and alphabets today and try to solve them by asking each other. Okay, so tell me, can you fill in the blank to complete this pattern? Mm, in this pattern, the numbers are listed in ascending order. As per the pattern, 10 comes after 6. While counting numbers after 6, we have 7, 8, 9 and 10. Hence, on adding 1, 2, 3, 4 to 6, we get 10. You said it right, Winnie. Similarly, by adding 4 to 10, we get the next number in the pattern. 14. Yes. And by adding 4 to 14, we get 18. Hmm. After 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That means we get 22 on adding 4 to 18. Very good, Vinny. Here is the puzzle made with this number pattern. 4 is added every time. 6, 10, 14. 18 and 22. Oh yes, you have solved the puzzle. Let me ask you another question. Ask, come on, observe this puzzle carefully and tell me which numbers should be used to fill these blanks. Vinny, in this pattern the numbers are in descending order. Hence we have 40. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On subtracting 5 from 40, we get 35. Yes, we can solve this puzzle by subtracting 5 from each term. Hmm. On subtracting 5 from 35, we will get 30. And on subtracting 5 from 30, we will get 25. Yes! And on subtracting 5 from 25, we get 20. Hmm! And on subtracting 5 from 20, we get 15. Now let's go! Okay, let's go! So, children, in this video, we understood patterns made of numbers and letters with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will understand the same with the help of few more interesting examples.
children today in this video we will understand the pattern of numbers and alphabets with some interesting examples vini look this is an interesting pattern made with red blue and green dots come on now repeat it and build it further hmm here in this pattern dots are placed in increasing order to form a triangle and yes in this pattern the blue dots are behind the red dots and then you have the green dots and they are repeated in specific order therefore at this fifth position after four we will write five and we will place five blue dots after four red dots in such a manner that they make a triangle well said yes so vinny in this manner this is the number pattern vinny come on now look at these pictures do you know the name of the figures in these pictures yes this is b a t bat and this one is r a t rat and this one is m a t mat and this is c a t cat and this one is h a t hat wow bini you have named all of them come on now tell me do you see any pattern in this hmm here all these words are of three alphabets and the last two letters of all these words are the same rightly said bini in all these words the second alphabet is a and the third alphabet is t so it does become a pattern of alphabets oh yes b a t bat r a t rat m a t mat c a t cat and h a t hat they make an interesting pattern yes these are patterns made of alphabets absolutely right <laughs> children today you understood pattern made of numbers and alphabets with the help of interesting examples in the next video we will learn making patterns with the help of stamps